Two at ten, Des Moines is one year away from getting its own taste of March Madness, as it'll draw thousands of fans from all across the country and provide a big boost to the local economy. We're talking NCAA regionals for Des Moines next year. KCCI's Ryan Smith is live tonight with a look at how city leaders are trying to get a jump start on bringing the big dance to Des Moines. Second round of the tournament will be held right here at Wells Fargo Arena in downtown Des Moines. And of course, this is a big undertaking for our city. That's why city officials were in Omaha late last week getting an inside look at what it takes to be a successful host city. There's no bigger economic score for a mid market city than hosting the NCAA men's basketball tournament. On the heels of the Sweet 16, city officials are counting down until it's our turn. It's just 365 days away from being here in Des Moines. It's really exciting. Omaha played host over the weekend at the CenturyLink Center. Reps from the Greater Des Moines Convention and Visitors Bureau, Iowa Events Center, and Iowa State University spent two days on site taking notes. Their media work area, for example, was great. They had big screen projector TVs with all the games on everywhere. And that's something that we can do here that we witnessed, so I think that's a good takeaway. The Des Moines delegation studied everything from the traffic flow around the arena to downtown Omaha's business between games. Tourism officials tell KCCI the trip highlighted a need for extra signage across the city. We want them to feel like we know they're here and we appreciate that they're here. And we want them to have a good time. So if that signage within the street poles, at their hotels, at the airport, on bus boards, anything. The big dance kicks off in Des Moines March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Although NCAA rules don't require first and second round host cities to construct a fan fest zone, you might see one here anyway. And talking about how busy downtown Des Moines is on a normal St. Patrick's Day, and then you bring thousands of people in for the basketball tournament, it seems like it would be a good idea to have some kind of a fan fest in Hy-Vee Hall. And I checked with Omaha officials this afternoon. They are still calculating the overall economic impact of hosting the tournament over the weekend. But to give you some perspective, Milwaukee, they hosted it last year. They took in $4.6 million. So certainly something nice to look forward to for the city of Des Moines. We're live in downtown tonight. Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.